Okay, so those of you who have, um, let's just say you got a semi with a sleeper, you got an excursion with two evaporators, we need to go through the dual evap orifice tube system. When you start adding evaporators, we got to add a metering device. So let's go through this loop. It should be pretty straightforward. So I got my AC comp, I got my condenser, I got my two orifice tubes, I got my front evap, I got my rear evap, and we also need to add in the accumulator dryer. So, same routine, hot high pressure, high pressure, high temperature gas, head into our condenser. From there, we've got our high pressure, high temperature liquid. Now what happens is you'll find this pipe right by the firewall and it's gonna split. So it's gonna go right to that front orifice tube. It's gonna split and go to the rear orifice tube. From there, we are going to be filling our evaporator with liquid. So you're gonna find, generally speaking, you're probably gonna add one to two pounds when you add a second evaporator. So you're going from like maybe three and a half pounds, like five and a half pounds, something of that nature. So we need to compensate for that by putting in more refrigerant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie these two lines together. So usually like you'll be following these for the rear, you're gonna follow these lines along the frame and they're gonna pop in pretty far back on the cab. So these guys, when the return comes out, I'm just gonna jump over that. These guys are gonna marry again. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna head to the accumulator dryer. Um, from the accumulator dryer, any excess liquid will drop off into this thing. There's actually like this little J loop pickup for the comp, and that will draw back our low pressure, low temperature gas. Now, like I said in the first orifice tube video, we might have a situation where we flood the evaporator. And if we flood these, then the compressor, basically when it's pulling, it's gonna pull that liquid into this can. So this can might be, I don't know, half full liquid. In that case, it will basically pick up refrigerant off the top of the can and go back to the compressor. So this blue line, what I'm gonna represent it as is low pressure, low temperature gas or liquid. So pretty unique setup. Uh, don't forget that you will have a second metering device. So we'll do the uh, dual EVAP H-block TXV setup next.